G'day, I'm Rip Butler and welcome back to the Art and Design Newscast. Hope the novelty of NIZ Anchor hasn't worn off because I'm still here. First up, art making during quarantine. Let's see how our artists think outside the box, even while stuck in one, in isolation. Our very own Mr McCarthy created a fascinating project where students studied posters from World War I to see how art can influence the way current events are perceived. They then made their own posters applying similar techniques. I created this poster because I didn't want to create anything about the past since I didn't connect with it since it was before my time. Someone with Black Lives Matter, something more recent. I chose Black Lives Matter, not only because it was Black History Month, but also because of the fact that it was something that affected me as well as my people. And during this whole time, I felt like my voice wasn't being heard. And this project has really helped me feel like my voice was valid. Thanks, Ryan, for that insight. And now for our quarantine weather report with Alex Philbrook. How's it looking, Alex? Uh, it's kind of cold in here, I guess. Well, uh, why don't you turn on a heater, mate? I don't really want to, so... All right. Thank you, Alex. For this news segment, we encourage students to describe the impact of art on their lives and what impact they hope their art will have. We hope you enjoy Josephine Liz's artist story. The first impact art really had on me was when I was younger, I would go to art museums with my mom and we would see all of these paintings of subjects I really loved. Like nature, I've always been really attached to that. So by seeing, for example, Peter Balk's North Cape by Moonlight, that's one of my favorite paintings to this day. And I think mostly because it reflected the world that I wanted to see the most as I grew up. When I'm making art, it feels very cathartic, very therapeutic. It feels like I'm getting all of these thoughts inside of my head out onto paper and it makes it a lot easier to talk out what I'm feeling. I use art as part of communication too. So if someone asks me, oh, how is your day? It's a lot easier for me if I have a comic on hand, like here's what I did today. I made a really good sandwich. And they're like, wow, cool. It's, it's a method of communicating to myself and to others at the same time. It's like therapy, but with pain. I think in quarantine, making art has really been helpful in going back to the communication thing. It's been helping me maintain relationships with my friends or my family. Um, when I'm feeling down, I'll talk about it and they're like, oh, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about this one thing in particular? I will 100% just send a drawing of me sobbing like, oh, I want to talk about it. I do want to talk about it, etc. It just, it's a way of communicating to others and again, talking to myself at the same time because sometimes when you do feel things, it's hard to put out into the world, but it's easy to put it onto something that only you can see and that you make on your own. Thanks very much, Joe. The investment of our students' time paid off yet again at this year's Ridgewood Savings Bank Film Competition, where first prize of an iPhone 12 went to Leo Cross, and Zane Van Wicklin managed to snap up third prize of a $150 gift card. And thanks to their efforts, our film department was awarded $1,500. Let's take a look at the winning entry.
And now for some quick announcements. This year, the PTA will be hosting Fanfare virtually from May 21st to May 23rd. And the cat's out of the bag on who's the mascot. It's Gus, our principal's very own feline friend. Good job to Landgrab Mansonu for their winning depiction of our newly anointed mascot. The fashion department would also like to announce the runway challenge. Check the poster for the details. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to spring break. That'll be from March 29th to April 2nd. And finally, if you'd like your artist story featured on the next newscast, contact us at the email address on screen. Now, you know the drill. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to the Art and Design Newscast YouTube channel and make sure to keep pestering your friends and family so that they do the same. If you'd like to learn more about our school or are interested in enrolling, visit our website at artanddesignhs.org and follow us on Instagram at artanddesignnyc. That's all for this newscast. Have a good spring break and we'll see you next time.